me host with the most Locum 23, Red Carpet Diaries, Chapter 2. Ain't no party like a locum party. Mm. Drop the beat. <laughs> it's your first night in Hollywood, and you've been invited to a party by superstar Matt Rodriguez. I don't want to overhype it, but this is certainly going to be the best night of your life. Matt Rodriguez's parties are legendary, and he personally invited you. Are you trying to make me freak out? Because you're kind of making me freak out. I haven't even unpacked my clothes. I, I have nothing to wear. Not to worry! I swung by a boutique and picked up a dress for you! In this, you're guaranteed to turn every head, catch every eye, make every clickbait article! Here, try it on. What do you think? Oh, just try it on right in front of you. Holy shit! <laughs> Wow, that is a lady. That's all I gotta say. That is a lady. Um, I actually originally started this. I minimized this to look at everything. Crashed! So, Pixelberry still haven't fixed that yet. Um, that dress, though, is gorgeous. It's like looking at the stars. <sighs> and it's... Try to impress with the special someone. All eyes will be on you with this elegant and sexy dress. No thanks. Thanks, but I, I think I'll stick with my own dads. Will there be a problem? Uh, no, of course not. You're classic, uh, understated. Uh, we'll make it part of your brand. Doesn't have to try that hard. Until next chapter. Yay? You know, because they've already thrown three... Think about this. Three outfits. Three outfits they've thrown on us. Already. One was in a dream. You and Chaz head down to his beat-up old car. The engine sputters like a dying buck, but it takes off. A little while later, Chaz turns up a long driveway. Valets wait outside the grand entrance to the mansion. He tosses one of the keys. Take good care of it. Yeah, I'd like to drive into it. No. Jesus, dude. This is even crappier than my car. It's a, it's a retro chick, okay? Retro chick. Valet shrugs and hops in, and Chaz leads you to the door. The two of you push through the huge atrium filled with a Hollywood's finest. You gawk in disbelief. Well, pretty. Wait, staff wander through the clusters of young Hollywood stars, passing gourmet appetizers and flutes of champagne. Whoa, it's amazing. It sure is. But don't get distracted. I always say, go in with a goal and focus on that and only that. Um, that's really, uh, professional. Uh, technically it's Ethan Blake's line, but he's a star at the Castle Agency. But pr pretty much everything I'm, I'm, I'm good at, I, I learned from watching him. Is he gonna be at this party? Luckily for my client list, no. Still good advice, though. So, what's your plan? I'm going to be... Hmm. Okay, be the life of the party. Network, network, network. Hunt down Matt Rodriguez. Why not? Obviously, I'm making a beeline for Matt. If I'm interesting enough, after five minutes of conversation, a scorn invite, who knows what else could happen? Yes! Milk is attraction to you. That is just the kind of mentality that will get you ahead in this town. You make it sound so... calculating. Aw, oh, come on! You know I don't think about you like that. Though, let's be real, if you get something going with Matt Rodriguez, there won't be a door in this town that won't open. If I get something going with Matt Rodriguez, you better believe I'll keep the door shut. Don't worry. I promise I'll still tell you all the details after. Thank God! You see a bar set up along the back wall. I think this would be feel less daunting with a drink in my hand. Just remember, drink until charming. Not until hilarious. I'm a bicker, I'll be fine. Go make your reputation. Jazz grins at you and rushes off. You head to the bar where a bartender is mixing elaborate drinks. What can I get you? 
Hmm. Whiskey on the rocks. Glass of champagne. A specialty cocktail. I'll take glass of champagne since we're being ritzy. It is a celebration after all. Champagne tastes, I see. And uh, thank God for Open Bar's budget. Ah, welcome to the club. You lean against the bar, sipping your drink as you survey the room. Behind you, a woman clears her throat, clearly annoyed that you're monopolizing the bartender's time. You turn a step out of the way and see... Your hero, Victoria Fontaine. Are you done? Wow, I adore you. Oh my god. No. No need to be rude. I was just finishing. I'm sure she'll be happy to serve you. Did I ask for your commentary? Are you serious? Your break must be over soon. Why don't you run off and try to work someone else for tips, hmm? I... I'm a guest at the party. Really? She sizes your outfit up. I've heard of dressing down, but you're really setting new lows. What? I... It's obvious you are very new in town, so let me give you a little advice. Girl next door isn't the same as hopeless basic, and no one hires for that. Before you can even fully process what happened, Victoria grabs her drink from the bartender and sweeps away through the party. Wow, I, I can't even. I just... just wow. If it makes you feel any better, her tip on her first drink was... Be better at your job. I had no idea she was such a diva. Take it as a compliment. That kind of catty has to mean she's threatened by you. Yeah, we'll go with that. She's lied you a refill. Here, this will help. It may be the drink talking, but I'm going to believe you. <clears throat> she smiles and turns to help other party guests. You wander through the crowd, wondering what to do next. You step outside for some fresh air. That... That's beautiful. Just think, folks. One, we'll never see water that beautiful. Two, we'll never be this rich, so enjoy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pixelberry, for bringing us just a little closer to the rich life without actually being rich. <clears throat> hey, gorgeous, how's it going? Why do you look like you just watched the opening scene of the uh, from Up? Yeah, that actually is a sad movie. Or at least the beginning is. I just ran into Victoria Fontaine. Oh, yeah, right. She's, uh, not the nicest person in the world. She's been my hero for years, Jazz, and she totally tore me to shreds. Look, it's hard to have heroes in this town. When I first got into agenting, I was so, so... Excited to work for the legendary John Castle, man. And then he made me drive to Pasadena every morning and I'd get his coffee and yelled at me if it was cold. How did you manage? Look, uh, y you look for good people? We exist out there. It's just a little harder to find. You start to say something. A roaring sound from overhead stops you short and you look up and see a flying motorcycle launching off the mansion through... Again, folks, this will be the closest you'll ever get to stupid. Woo! As you and everyone else around the pool looks on, the motorcycle does a flip in the air and lands in the pool with a huge splash. You all watch with bated breath when the rider pops out of the water, whips off his helmet. Boom, baby! Tell me that wasn't awesome! The crowd cheers as he hoists himself out of the pool and takes a bow, leaving his motorcycle floating. You do not treat a motorcycle like that, you ape. Oh my god, I am so triggered right now. He heads inside to grab a drink, suddenly you feel a tug at your elbow. Oh my god, I can't believe it's here. he's here. Am I supposed to know who that was? Are you serious? That was Crash Yamaguchi. Yes, I spelled that correctly, or said it correctly. The world-famous Daredevil, Hollywood's top dumb star of the hit reality show, Crashing Hard with Crash? 
Oh, I think I caught an episode of that. Is that one of the... Were they ride crocodiles or something? Ah, oh, and a million other things. Crash is like one of the coolest people in town. Wait, how do I look? Do I look all right? Is my hair okay? Do I, do I have something in my teeth? Um, you look fine. Why? No reason. Oh my god. You're totally blushing. What? No! You are. Even your ears. We both know what that means. What? We do! You have a huge crush on Crash Yamaguchi. Oh my god, this word. But, I, that's... <sighs> okay, fine, you got me. He's so daring, you know? He always takes risks and living life to the fullest, and there's, there's something so attractive about that. Not to mention, he's incredibly handsome. There's also that, yeah. That's that's definitely a, a factor. A anyway, it's just a silly crush. Nothing's ever going to happen there. I should probably avoid him for the rest of the night, otherwise I will, take a, I, I will make a total fool of myself. I didn't even hook myself up with a dress. Pixelberry should just, by default, go, mm -mm, we know you ain't gonna pick that one. It's probably better your, to keep your distance. I know you wanted to use this party as an opportunity to find new clients and network, but... Uh, buh, seducing. Buh. Buh. I'm just done. Seducing your celebrity crush might take that tough. Make my... Make... Oh my god. After this spelling error, I can't do it. Might make that tough to pull off. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, I guess you're right. Wait. You honestly think I'd be capable of seducing him? I know you would. That's why I'm advising you as a friend to give a, a, a man a wide berth. He'll, he'll totally delay your world domination plans. <laughs> the sarcasm you can't sense. But, but maybe, maybe I should stay close enough that he can spot me across the room. Oh, and wonder about the mysterious attractive stranger just out of reach? I know, it it sounds ridiculous. Oh, it sounds like a perfect plan. Thanks, Jessica. He lifts up his glass. I'm gonna refill this. Um, but don't you think you should... With club soda! Otherwise, who knows what I might do. Hmm. He shudders theatrically and walks inside to a different bar from the one for Crash's holding court. Get back inside the ballroom, and it's weird to you that there's a ballroom, but it has been set up to look like a casino. A croupier is running a stunning antique roulette wheel, a, a bevy of gorgeous men and women huddle around the edge watching the ball. Walk up just in time to see it land on 18. A gorgeous woman in a stunning gown lets out a sigh. Ah, <sighs> damn it. Why did I bet red? I look much better in black. Not your lucky day? Mm, not for that. But you've just shown up, so I wouldn't call the whole day a wash. I'm. Okay, here we go, butchering a name. Tisha Desai, by the way. I'm a, an assistant director. Oh, I'm Jessica, and I'm, uh... Hmm. An actress? Your lucky charm. Why not? Oh, really? Because I could definitely use one of those right now. Just think of me in, like, a, a four-leaf clover. My eye is itching. A charming and gorgeous four-leaf clover. I was thinking just lucky, but I'll take the compliment. They just smile slyly at you. The groupier asks everyone to place their bets. Place your bets. Come on, now. Come in. So, how's the betting work? It's pretty simple. If you're especially excited about throwing away your chips, you put them on a specific number. Or if you want to play it safer, you bet on whether that number it lands on will be red or black. Oh, and if it lands on 24, every winner gets double, and anyone who bet 24 gets an extra 1,000. 
<clears throat> Why then? Because it's Matt Rodriguez's birthday, of course. Oh, that makes sense. Good, because this is our last chance to bat. Oh, our last chance. Yeah, I've decided you're picking for me. After all, your luck can't possibly be any worse than mine. <clears throat> I just ran into my favorite hero in Hollywood, and, and they just tore me to shreds. But yeah, sure, my, my luck's okay. Why not? <clears throat> Everything on 24. Mm, um... I'm not a gambling person, so we'll play it safer and go with black. I feel like it, you know what? No, screw it. Go bigger, go home, right? <clears throat> I like your style, Jessica. Go bigger, go home. The croupier spins the wheel, the ball rattles around, skips over a few slots, and finally settles on three red. I'm sorry, Tisha. Oh, don't worry about it. I'd rather go home. Go out with a bang, anyway. I think the god's telling me it's time to stop gambling. Wanna grab some food? I'm starving and everyone else is here busy kissing each other's asses. Oh my god, I like you already. And they don't have to eat time to eat. Mmm, I'd love to. The food smells heavenly. I like you already, I'm serious. The two of you head out and weaving your way through the party guests until you reach the massive buffet line. There are dozens of elaborate salads, towers of crudits, and on-demand sushi station, and a chef cooking homemade pasta to order. Mmm. No, I don't know about the pasta. Eh, son of a... I, I like... I want <laughs> I'm a woman, I'm in Hollywood. Remember, you have to watch what you eat. We're not rich yet. We don't have physical trainers and all this other crap. Um, sushi or salad, sushi or salad. I I'm sensing, I'm reaching into the future to see what all of you want. <laughs> I'm sensing someone saying pizza. Another person saying a burger. Um, I'll go with salad. <laughs> you load up a plate with dozens of preparations of kale and a variety of seaweed salads. When you find Tasia again, she's talking to an oddly dressed middle-aged gentleman with a thick Dutch accent. Oh, don't tell me. I'm not doing this. Hold on. <clears throat> I don't know how to do Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, technically it's Deutsch, but <clears throat> it's a part of a contract. Actually, it's not legal to require a pay PO to use as a part of a contract here. How profoundly American. He turns and stares directly at you unblinkingly. So, let him. Animal proteins are what make the human brain superior. Your diet will eventually lead your brain to wither and die. I... I don't only eat salad, you know? Hmm, a pity. You continue... To continue existing is to only know suffering. Then... Wouldn't I... Just never mind. With absolutely no warning, the man turns on his heel and starts cutting through the crowd towards the entrance. Teja, follow. I require you. I'm sorry, I have to go. That's my boss, and he can be demanding. Oh, that's one way to put it. I really hope to run into you again, though. You're the first person I've met at one of these that I actually like. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm planning on crashing all ridiculously famous celebrity birthdays this season. You distract the bouncer, and I'll pick enough pocket stuff on my inability to gamble. Deal. Tisha! Sorry, I... I really have to go. Enjoy the rest of the party. She runs off after her boss turning to gaze at you one last time before disappearing into the crowd. Ooh, female love interest. 
You push your way to the edge of the room, hoping to find a little air. Down a narrow hallway, you spot a door you hadn't noticed before. Through the windows, you see a magnificent view. Oh, man. Screenshot that. Wow. Man, is that gorgeous. Holy shit. I like how there's this this little right here on the balcony. is two leaves. I like that. Just the, the intricate details. Oh, no, there's one right here, too. Made. I mean, what? <laughs> you went through the doors onto a small balcony. You can see all the lights of Los Angeles from up here. Fresh air. This is exactly what I needed. Just then, you notice that you're not alone. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. You came. I didn't... Why didn't anyone tell me you were here? Uh, probably because no one has any idea who I am. Isn't it obvious to anyone with eyes? Isn't what obvious? You're the girl I can't get out of my head. You blush, turning to look out the over the night sky until you can compose yourself. What are you doing out here anyway? Dramatically gazing out at the prettiest view of the city. Oh, and you mean her, don't you? Yeah, but you could do that every night. Are you hiding out? Not obvious, huh? More surprising, aren't you the man of the hour? It feels like man of the last several years. Sorry, that probably sounded arrogant. I just... I needed some fresh air. Isn't the party what you wanted? Not really. I'd give anything for a low-key birthday. Just hanging out with a few good friends, drinking whiskey on the beach. And my manager says I need to throw the biggest parties in town. He, he thinks it helps my brand. And I mean, he's the manager, right? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Your manager's an idiot. You'd think I'd get used to it, being the center of attention, but parties like this, well, I, I need a break every once in a while. I get it. You have to be on for everyone. Exactly. It's worse than a press junket. Are you enjoying the party, though? Mm, I mean, yeah, it's the great party. Is it the best? No. I could have a party with myself. Um... Like, it's better than what just... I mean, she met that nice woman, but that's about it. Um, it's honestly a little overwhelming. Everyone else here seems so... at ease. I feel like a fish that smiles out of water. Can I let you in on a little secret? Does it have to do with dessert forks? Well, in a way. I'm pretty sure all the people here feel that way. I do, and I grew up around those. Seriously? Oh yeah, that's just Hollywood for you. You don't have to be on film to be putting on a show. Thank you. You can't imagine what a relief that is to hear. It's like this. Everything in there is spectacular, obviously, and I'm grateful for it. But this moment right now, this is the best part of the party for me. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. Looking out over the night sky, the city lights twinkling below, the fresh air, and... And... And a beautiful girl to share it with. Yeah! All the glitz can be fun, but this feels real good. It feels real. Overhead, a shooting star passes across the sky and mad points. Do you see that? A shooting star. Matt leans in close to you, his handsome face just inches from your own. So, what's your wish? I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sir, I'm trying to save up diamonds for Diamond Edition so I can go all in. Beautiful black dress and you for the night. Oh, 
Mmm, I would rock your world. I mean, what? <laughs> Did you call it a night? <laughs> you push Matt playfully in the chest. I can't tell you my wish, silly. Then it won't come true. Depends on what you were wishing for. Some things don't require fairy godmothers. Does that mean I'm Cinderella? Because it's almost midnight. As if on cue, a door slams just beneath the balcony. The stillness of the night is split by the sound of voices shouting. What's going on down there? You lean over the balcony to get a better look. And you see the commotion is Chaz arguing with a well-dressed man. Oh, crap. What is it? Nothing. I just, uh, need to go down there for a minute. Uh, you stay up here and enjoy the view, bask in being the birthday boy. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. Uh, will I see you around? Absolutely. So I hope! Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> You rush to the party and out into the courtyard, pushing through the bustling crowd and towards Jazz and the angry man. Get out! You're not welcome here anymore! Cool down! Like I said, it was just a casual conversation! A casual conversation? Is that what you call it? I call it trying to poach one of my clients right out from underneath me. Not that he'd ever sign with a nobody like you anyway. I swear, wasn't trying to poach anyone. We were just talking about an opportunity I had. I don't care if you're talking about the price of boba tea in Santa Monica. Leave my clients alone, okay? Try to calm him down. I'm sorry about the misunderstanding, but I can promise you Chaz would never do something like that. After all, you're... You glance meaningly, meaningfully at Chaz. Hopefully he'll take the cue. Luckily he catches it. You're Jonathan Spencer, one of my idols in the industry. He's told me how much he respects you. I don't even know how many times. The work you've done with Matt Rodriguez, it's a master class in, in, in managing celebrities. Right, that's uh, what he always is saying. And so there you go. He'd never do anything to alienate you, Mr. Spencer. I appreciate that. But you don't get to where I am without recognizing client poaching. You know what? Why don't we just leave? We wouldn't want you to to disrupt the party and, and after Matt was so generous as to invite me himself. That sounds wise. Thank you for handling everything so well, Miss... Uh, Jessica's fine. Well, they say bad press is just as good as good press in Hollywood, so... Gathering as much dignity as you can muster, you and Chaz head to the front door, Spencer trailing just behind you. Come on, Jessica, let's blow this popsicle stand. I just want to say goodbye to Matt. I'll let him know you had to leave. Could you give me my number? We were hanging out just before all this happened. I don't want him to think I just would ditch him. After what, Miss Jessica? after the conversation we were having up on the balcony. Here, give me the number. I'll handle it. He hands you his phone, uh, tapping his foot impatiently as you enter the number. Are you sure I can't just... I said I'll handle it. Please go now. As you leave, a voice calls out after you. Bye! Oh, God damn it, I want to break you. The valet pulls up with Chaz's decrepit rack of a car. You can hear a few snickers as the door of the mansion slams shut behind you. Chaz pulls away from the mansion. He doesn't say a word, eyes locked on the road. So, that was rough. Listen, I wasn't trying to climb poach. You, you know that, right? Really? <sighs> I guess if you walked in on it, it might sound like I was trying to lure him away, but I wasn't really. Well, if it makes you feel better, I have news. I doubt it could make me feel better, Jessica. Uh, Spencer is one of the most powerful people in the industry. You heard him. He manages Matt Rodriguez, and he'll probably tell my boss I wrecked his party. 
or you might tell him that your new clients from the party leave in conversation on Matt's private balcony. Tell me everything. I don't know, he just said he was glad I came. We talked for a while, saw a shooting star. You know, no big deal. No big deal? I think you meant the biggest freaking deal since US Weekly discovered telephoto lenses. I don't want to make it to be more than it was. Oh, I'll do the interpreting. This is all that and more. I do what I can. You're crushing it! Let's just hope you're th that lucky tomorrow. What do you mean? What's tomorrow? So, remember that client Spencer accused me of trying to poach? He's a director. Not the biggest name, mind you, but he's got projects. The reason I was talking to him, the real reason, was to get you some auditions. Wait, really? I'm not trying to take on new clients, Jessica. Just do right by the ones I have. And, oh boy, do I have some huge auditions lined up for you. Oh god. Damn, Chaz. Wait, when you say huge auditions, you don't mean auditioning in a sumo suit, do you? You, you, you know, I, I wouldn't lie to you. Chaz. Okay, okay, they're not the biggest kicks in town, but uh, they're auditions for, for real jobs. Everybody has to start somewhere, right? Will you ace the big auditions? Hear back from Matt. Manage to keep Chaz out of trouble for even 24 hours. Find out in the next chapter of Red Carpet Diaries. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Chaz? Just leave me alone in this corner and I'll do my own, I'll do my own shit. Um, <clears throat> you ruined a moment, Chaz. You ruined it. My name is Matt Rodriguez and I will destroy you. Um, so I hope y'all did enjoy that video. Please let me know in the comment section below if you did or didn't. What do you think will happen next? What not? Also, head down description below. We do have a Discord now, so if you want to come hang out, chat, the whole nine yards, there's so much to do. And uh, also, there's a few links for uh, social media as well if you want to support my channel. There's a few links to do that as well, and it's greatly appreciated. And, and besides that, um, until next time, stay well. Stay awesome, especially one another, and I'll catch you all in the next video, and thanks for watching. Peace!